Hello and welcome to the session in which we will keep working with the core functions of the U.S. cybersecurity framework that was developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And specifically of the five core functions, today we're going to be finishing with the recover function, which is the last function. In the prior session, we looked at the identified function, which is identifying your asset, protecting your asset, the protect function, detecting any intrusion, how to respond, and in this session, we would look at the recovery function. Once again, we have five core function, 23 categories. We're covering today the last three categories, 108 subcategories, and many references. So this is what we did already. Identified is done, protect is done, detect is done, and respond is done. Today, we're going to be focusing on the recover, and from the name recover, the purpose of this function is to do what? Is to restore your capabilities after you are after you experience a cybersecurity incident, now you need to recover. Well, you need to recover your capabilities and services, of course, and you need to minimize the impact on the business operation to reduce the risk of future incident. And you have to go back and rebuild your brand. So after you after you experience a cybersecurity, you're not only going to have losses in terms of monetary losses, what's also important is how do you handle this incident? How, you do, how do you handle it from a public relation perspective, from communication perspective, because that's going to affect your brand. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. So under the recover function, uh, under the recover function, we're going to have three categories, recovery planning, improvement and communication and we saw improvement and communication in prior session but this is basically an overall improvements and communication the first category is the recovery planning category this focuses on developing and implementing plans to recover from cybersecurity incident so you have to have in writing down in writing well documented up-to-date recovery plan and what needs to be done so this category emphasizes the importance the importance of having well-documented and up-to-date recovery plan in place to help the organization recover from the cybersecurity incident effectively and efficiently. Because what's going to happen is certain services might be out of service. How are you going to recover those? How are you going to minimize the impact across all the system? How are you going to manage your public relation, your brand. So do you have a plan on how to recover this? What if someone called from the media? Do you have a person, a specialized person who can respond? Or how are you going to handle uh, social media comments on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, so on and so forth? Do you have a plan for that? Two is improvement. Well, from the name improvement, you're going to incorporate, you're going to add lessons learned from past incidents and this incidents to do what? If, if something doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger to identify opportunities to strengthen the organization recovery capabilities. Well, what does that mean? Well, you have to re-update your recovery plan based on lessons learned because the, the, the key of improvement is learn from the past to improve the future. So organization should analyze previous incidents, learn from them, and update the recovery plan accordingly to improve the responses in future incidents. So what did you do? Okay, we had a cybersecurity incident. How are you going to take advantage of it? How do I take advantage of it? I'm going to learn, make my system stronger, learn from past events, learn from my mistakes, learn from my vulnerabilities, and update my recovery plan. Also, a subcategory called recovery strategies are improved. The subcategory focuses on enhancing recovery strategies by evaluating the effectiveness of existing approaches and identifying areas of improvement. Again, what strategy am I utilizing? What can I do? What did I learn from this lesson to improve my strategy? Last but not least is the communication category. Sim simply put, communication focuses on coordinating 
with internal and external stakeholders, especially external stakeholders, during and after the incident, the cybersecurity incident, to do what? To provide timely and correct information. Now, do you have a person? Do you know who's responsible for this job? Well, you might have a public relation uh, uh, department. Okay, organization should have a plan for managing public relation of, after a cybersecurity incident. What should they do? Provide accurate and timely information to customers, partners, stakeholders. Do you have this department? If not, do you know a per do you identify a person rather than trying to find a person in the midst of the cybersecurity attack? Reputation, that's important. How do you manage your reputation after an incident? Because that's gonna be the worst thing that's gonna happen to the company is the impact on their brand. So this subcategory emphasizes the importance of managing the reputation by addressing concerns. Because people are people they're gonna be they're gonna fear doing business with you if someone can steal the, their information. How are you going to rebuild trust and demonstrate commitment to prevent future incidents? So what are you gonna tell them? Okay, this is this happened, take responsibility, but we learn from it and in the future this should not happen again. What are how are you handling this? Also, recovery activities are communicated. What are you doing to put your website back online, your server back online? Clear communication of recovery activities ensure that all parties involved are aware, your suppliers are aware that your system is working again. Being are aware of the steps being taken to restore nor normal operation and maintain transparency. So this is basically what we did. We went over the five core functions. The next thing I'm going to have to go over is the four tiers and the profile. So it's very important to understand the big picture of the cybersecurity framework. We covered the a major part of it, the five core functions. Next, we, we're going to discuss what is a profile and what is what are the four tiers. And this way we'll have an idea about, an overall idea about US cybersecurity framework that's developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, abbreviated as NIST. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, because this is how they're gonna be testing you about this topic. So you can, I, you can answer the questions and do good. Pass your exam, your certification, do well in your course. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.